You have failed this city. The staff chose me to get justice. What if this wasn't the life we were meant to have after crisis? Your mother's planning a trip. Clark Kent, back in Smallville. This family needs Smallville as much as the world needs Superman. Clark, I need you to get to Metropolis now. It's the boys. The boys? Yeah, honey, your sons. Front page news. Does this ever get old? If it does, I will let you know. Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the CW-verse, as the CW has called the Arrowverse. There is a new trailer. This is a sort of trailer breakdown for Superman and Lois. This is our first official look into the TV show, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so now, Superman and Lois, what is going on here? So we have this trailer, and I'm going to put the trailer at the start of the video so you guys can watch it. It's a very, very good trailer, and basically it is the CW-verse as the CW are newly branding themselves, like, you know, the Arrowverse or DCTV. We call it that. I'm not going to call it the CW-verse, but it totally makes sense because it is their name and it's their universe so I guess that makes sense but anyway so it features our first look at Superman and Lois so there is no visual new look there is audio new look there is some dialogue that they've recorded they obviously wanted to put out a trailer to hype up their newest CW DC TV show and I can't wait for Superman and Lois hopefully we'll be making Superman and Lois videos week to week so please be sure to check out my channel as we head towards you know the first release date which is you know in January so it's not that far away it's like four months away Superman and Lois is gonna be covered it is after a spin-off of Supergirl so you guys know I'm really interested in it okay so let's go over to the trailer and talk about some of this stuff so yeah how the trailer plays it starts off and you have Green Arrow you have how the Arrowverse started so I think they're kind of implying, oh, it was the Arrowverse, but now because Green Arrow is not here anymore, like, we're not going to call it that. I don't know if that's kind of, like, disrespectful to Green Arrow. I kind of feel it is a little bit. But anyway, so Green Arrow, there is this cool comic book style mixed with the live action style. And so it's from one hero, as it says on the screen, and then to basically, you know, a whole new universe, and that is... The CW verse. This is the crossover running shot from Crisis on Infinite Earths, and it says the CW verse, so they have officially branded it. You guys don't need to call it that, but that is what they are calling it as of right now. So you got lots of different flashes of all our different CW verse characters or Arrowverse characters, as we like to call it. So you got Supergirl and her comic book counterpart. Then you got like the Flash and him running in real life, but also him in the comic books. I think it's very cool, there's some nice little glimpses of Supergirl, of the Flash, of Batwoman, of all these different characters, and there is mention of crossovers and stuff like that to do with Rey and everything, but then we move on to the big thing in the trailer, and this is when it goes 2021, and you start to hear the Superman theme, come on, and so you get to see the Daily Planet signs and everything like that. So I do believe this is from Crisis on Infinite Earths because this is Tom Welling's Superman you're seeing right here in this version of the Daily Planet. So basically what's happened with Superman and Lois is before productions were shut down in Vancouver, they were actually set to start filming about a week after they were actually shut down. So that is absolutely insane. But they have supposedly recorded some dialogue and we'll go over the dialogue in a minute. But yeah, 2021, Superman and Lois is coming, and they're actually back in Vancouver. I know Bitsy Tullock, who plays Lois Lane, has already done her quarantine, and I believe all the rest of the cast members are up there in Vancouver right now, and so 
they're getting ready for Superman and Lois to start filming sometime, like literally in the next few weeks or something like that. So Superman and Lois will be back. And there was this interesting tweet by Bitsy Turlock on Twitter where she said, I had the loveliest social distance hang today with the gorgeous Erica Durant. Love her. And then she put hashtag the new adventures of Lois and Lois. So I thought that was really interesting and I wanted to include it in the video because what happens if we get like a Supergirl and Superman crossover where we get Kara's mum showing up? Obviously due to crisis we don't know if she's alive or not or what's happening there. Obviously Argo did get blown up but then crisis happened so maybe Argo survived and maybe Kara's mum did survive. So there is a chance that Erica Durant could show up on Superman and Lois, especially if they maybe visit Argo or something like that, because they, after all, did live on Argo for a while, so they would be friends, because Lois would have met Kara's mum by then. Okay, so that's interesting. What do you think about that? Would you like to see Erica Durant crossing over onto Superman and Lois? And so throughout the trailer, there's a few different shots that we've seen before. At first, I was like, oh, is this new footage or not? But then I realized they haven't actually filmed anything new, so this is footage gathered from the past two crossovers specifically to do with Lois but then also for Superman it's you know from the episodes that he showed up on Supergirl and everything like that like there's even this shot that we saw back you know when he first appeared on Supergirl with Supergirl in the sky and saying like you know will you ever get bored and he will be sure to let her know so I think it's very good that they included Supergirl at the end of this because you know after all it is a Supergirl spin-off show so that's very, very exciting to see from a Supergirl fan point. So yeah, I can't wait for it. Superman and Lois is coming. But let's go over some of the dialogue in this trailer, the supposedly new dialogue from Superman and Lois. So they've recorded some sort of ADR. You know, they do that for shows, and especially if they want to bring out something new like this. Like, they are prepping the fans. They are getting fans excited. So they need something new, right? So I think the dialogue is new from what I've heard and what I know. So, the first piece of dialogue is, what if this wasn't the life we were meant to have after Crisis? And I do believe this is actually a brand new line because I haven't heard it before as far as I can recall. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty damn sure it is new. And so, this is Superman talking about life after Crisis. And so, they're obviously in some sort of situation, whatever the pilot turns out to be. They're at a point where they're in maybe Metropolis or something like that. And, you know, they have their new child who potentially could be Superboy in the future and so I think they're sort of doubting like where do they go forward and I think that might be part of the sort of story arc at the start of Superman and Lois at the start of the first few episodes I would say it wouldn't be a too far-fetched theory and the next piece of dialogue is your mother's planning a trip this is Clark saying this supposedly to his new kid I don't know how old his kid's gonna be I think he's still gonna be a baby at this point right unless they totally skip time and they jump ahead of the whole Arrowverse and you know Superboy's older or something like that but yeah so that's interesting to think he's probably just kind of talking to the baby but not talking to an older person who would understand but anyway so Clark Kent back in Smallville who I believe this is Lana Lang who has actually been cast on Superman and Lois you may know her character from Smallville is going to be played by a different actor but essentially what you need to know is she lives in Smallville, she works in a bank, she stayed in Smallville, and the reason she says Clark Kent back in Smallville is because obviously Clark left and I'm supposing sometime in the series very early on they're going to come back to Smallville because Smallville is a big part of the Superman character so that will be interesting to see. Okay, so the last piece of dialogue is this world needs Smallville as much as the world needs Superman and this is... Clark saying this himself. So I'm guessing, you know, it's going to play a decent chunk. I don't know how much we're going to see in Smallville compared to Metropolis because I'm guessing we're mainly going to be in Metropolis. And so that is about it. But I would say in regards to when we get our first official look, our first trailers, our first behind the scenes photos, our first leaks from the set, is probably going to be sometime in October, I would hazard the guess, is when we'll see some sort of first look at Superman and Lois and potentially the other shows. So it's not very long now, we're into September, it's currently the 3rd of September. Most of the shows are going back in the next few weeks, Batwoman is returning tomorrow, I'll have a video out on that hopefully in the next few days. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will catch you guys later, goodbye.
icy road. Heartbeat.